We've talked about magnetism and energy. I'd like to bring it down to a much more literal level so that you can understand it uh, more clearly. Whenever you introduce electricity into a wire, that wire produces a magnetic field. And when the electricity flow is very strong, then the magnetic field becomes very strong. The stronger the flow of electricity through the wire, the stronger also the electromagnetic field. The weaker, obviously, the weaker that field. Now this is true also in the body. People who have a great deal of physical energy or a great deal of mental energy also have a lot of magnetism. And the two are absolutely correlated. It depends on how much energy you have that uh, the magnetism that you develop depends on that energy. Now then, it's also true whenever you send a thought out. I talked about energy and magnetism and success or attracting opportunities. It's very literally true that when you want something very strongly and you send, send out a very strong thought, that thought goes out with energy and that energy is clothed in a magnetic field. When people want something weakly, they don't, they're not likely to attract the thing that they want, but if they have a very strong thought, then that strong thought sends out the kind of magnetism to attract the inspiration a person wants, the uh, opportunities, the success, the situations. That's why the stronger your mind, the more important it is that you keep a positive mind, because you will attract to yourself whatever kinds of things you wish for, even if you didn't really know that you were wishing for them. For example, a fear if it's very powerful, will attract the object of its fear. If you put out loving thoughts towards others, you will attract true friends. If you put out strong success thoughts, you will attract success. If, on the other hand, there's this strong thought in your mind that you will never succeed, then somehow that power of negative thought will bring failure to you. And so, remember we're living, and this is something that science has discovered, we're living in what is essentially an electromagnetic universe. We see matter as something solid, but that's because our own capacity for sight is limited. We feel the ground, we feel our bodies to be solid. But in fact, matter is energy. It's composed of energy, it's made of energy. And that energy is the reality. That is why the amount of energy you, you put forth to influence events is far more important than the specific things that you do. You can solve problems in the same way with a great flow of energy, with a great strong determination, put out that kind of energy, you can get an answer in a moment that other people might spend weeks or even years batting back and forth and not really knowing quite what to do. You can try this for yourself. Any time you want something, uh, want an answer, let's say, to a problem, don't block that thought with uh, the feeling that it's a problem, with the feeling that it's difficult, um, with the feeling that nobody else has been able to find an answer to it. Have a very strong, positive, magnetic thought and put a lot of energy into it and you'll find the answer right like that. I remember my, one time many years ago, I was, I'd been doing a lot of work and I was very tired and I wanted to just have lunch and rest for a while, and somebody came to me with a problem, something that needed a decision immediately. I said, well, can't it wait until after lunch? No, we have to have the answer now. This person's on long distance from quite a long distance away across the country, and uh, we have to have an answer for him. So I immediately switched gears from wanting to just enjoy my meal. I just sat still for a moment and put out a lot of energy toward that thought, and what shall we do? And immediately I knew the answer. Where before, when I was trying to be sort of lackadaisical and relaxing, I couldn't think for the life of me what the answer would be. I've seen this thing happen again and again in my life and in the lives of others, that when you need an answer, when you need something to happen, when you need an opportunity, when you need doors to open, when you need people to join you in something, if you will put out a strong 
thought of energy, that energy itself will draw, it will create that electromagnetic field that will draw to you whatever it is that you want to accomplish. So remember, magnetism depends on energy, and energy depends upon the uh, amount that you bring to bear by, I'll tell you again in another class more in depth, but it all depends ultimately on your own willpower.